it is that you go into a tournament and you are paired with the host nation. <laughs> uh, most of the times, um, it's not to be a difficult um, adventure for you. Um, but notwithstanding, I think that um, uh, we have quality players. So what is left uh, with us to prepare adequately for the tournament? You see, you can't go into a tournament with the aim of qualifying for the Olympics and uh, start uh, being afraid of one team or the other. What if you meet a particular team? So you must be prepared to you know, meet any other team and be able to beat the team. So what is left of us is to prepare adequately for the tournament. One of the things that we prepare very well, I'm sure that we should be able to achieve our objective. The coaches been monitoring the um, eligible players. I mean, since we qualified, they've been monitoring them because um, um, the coaches are aware as much as we are that the aim of this particular team is qualify for the Olympics. And so um, we want to open our net as wide as possible to make sure that all eligible players are available for the coach. But obviously, you cannot pack. Uh, for instance, if you have like five, I mean, eligible players, maybe playing for the Black Stars, they play almost the same position. You cannot invite all of them. Because if you are inviting, uh, what the coach's strategy is, obviously, you would consider position by position. And so, as much as we're looking for the quality players, I'm pretty sure that it might not be all of them that uh, you would invite. And then he's been uh, monitoring them um, since last month or two. Uh, beyond that, um, that part of this month into the beginning of next month, we'll start the uh, campaign. Uh, according to the coaches, um, Tanko tells me that we want to start with what he terms as a non-residential campaign for a um, couple of days after which you would invite everybody into camping and they also plan to you know do camping outside of Ghana um, that would be the intensive one where it is that we'll look for some friendly matches in the shape of the teams that we're going to uh, be participating in the tournament with and after those friendly matches then we would finally arrive in the country of the tournament which will be Morocco and so uh, that is the strategy that is the plan uh, if everything goes to plan yeah, we start with a residential camping, then into camping, then travel outside to do um, camping, I mean, pre-games camping. And after that, we'll enter into the games proper in Morocco.